welcome back to my channel. As you know, I'm obsessed with nutrition and healthy eating. My passion and my love is food. And I suppose the whole reason behind this video is to help you guys. I remember a few years ago trying to kick off my health and fitness journey and I just felt really overwhelmed. I had no idea where to start and I remember Googling healthy grocery shopping. Like, what do you buy at the grocery store? How do you be healthy? I had no idea. And while my mum was pretty holistic, my family didn't necessarily eat super healthy. It wasn't really bad, but I wasn't able to achieve my goals and I just wasn't eating in a way that complemented my body or yeah, just allowed me to, I guess, be the best and healthiest version of myself. So in today's video, I'm going to take you to every single store I go to. We pretty much have nothing. I'm gonna take you to the kitchen in a second and show you how bare everything is and especially kicking off 2019 and your health and fitness goals. For me personally, and I think for the majority of people, diet and establishing healthy habits around eating is one of the hardest things to really maintain. And I personally think that everyone thrives off a slightly different diet, whether that's a vegetarian diet, vegan, paleo. I'm not really the biggest fan of keto, but I think you need to listen to your own body, do what works for you, and don't be afraid to be your own little guinea pig. So in the past, if you guys have followed me from day one, you'll know that I tried everything from like counting macros and counting calories, keto for a little bit to try to balance my hormones. I was vegan, I was raw vegan, I was vegetarian. And now for like the past two to three years, I've been an intuitive eater. I kind of hate that name because it's like a little bit of a trend right now, but I call myself a paleo-based eater. By no means am I paleo. I really just focus on vegetables, fruit, nuts, seeds, meat, and other little health foods. So I don't really eat grains. However, the reason I call myself paleo-based is because I don't stick to a diet or a fad. If I feel like rice one day, I'll have rice, but the things that I never consume in my diet is gluten and dairy. I'm gluten intolerant and I don't know if I'm lactose intolerant. I've never been tested, but I feel like crap when I eat dairy. I get really bad tummy aches. My skin breaks out. I feel lethargic. I have a weird taste in my mouth. Totally listen to your body. You don't have to eat like me. I get so many questions about my diet and how I eat. So I want to be as open and transparent as possible and just help you guys on your own fitness journey. So I think it's time we jump straight into this video. Go to my super empty kitchen and see what we need to buy. It's so nice coming home to like a clean fridge. I like sprayed it and it's great. <laughs> All we have is I bought this up the coast, some tofu. I just haven't used it yet. So we literally need to buy everything. We have nothing. We eat a lot of food and because I'm paleo based, I eat so many vegetables and so much fruit. That's kind of what I snuck on. So it's easier now that I do live out of home. I admit that. But if you're living at home with your family, I suggest getting lots of healthy snacks because that's where you normally get derailed. It's the snacking. Our cupboard's not too bad, but the cupboard isn't really the fresh stuff. Yeah, I always like to have different gluten-free spaghetti options. We have edamame spaghetti, black bean spaghetti, and then we've just got like a bunch of chickpeas. Always like to have some kind of natural tomato based sauce, like a pasta sauce. Snacks. Loving Earth and Tropica. So they're just like staple ingredients, but we don't have anything fresh. I'm already sweating. Me too. Quick. P.S. guys, I'm almost 30 weeks pregnant. Da -da -da. Let's go. Hi, Abby. I love you. my own deluxe mix with Loving Earth, like the sweet one with buckwheat and cranberries and everything. Sometimes I feel like savory, which is when I just get plain organic activated vegan nuts. If you have a sensitive digestive system, I highly recommend getting activated nuts. They're much more easier to be processed by the body and they don't give you like that bloated gurgly feeling. They are a little bit more expensive, but for me, it's so worth it. If I don't have activated nuts, you'll know about it. <laughs> okay. Thank you, see ya. I mean, I don't change it. I get these coconut aminos. I either get the 
original and I also get the naked one. So that's like my version of soy sauce. I think we've already got this one at our house, so we don't need to get that, but normally I get that. And we used to get this really yummy pasta sauce from here, but they stopped selling it. I know. Yeah. Oh wait, is it it there? No, it's it. Victory. <laughs> it's back. <laughs> this is Kurt's favorite yeah, I one. I love that one. Lemon lime bitters, there's, there's only, only one. one. There's only one. Do you want passion fruit? No. I want what? ginger and lemon, that one right there, no. film. No, I want you to get one that I like too so we no. can share. No, I want ginger lemon. You want passion no, fruit? No, I don't want passion fruit. Watermelon. This is just for the road. One bag down. Two shops done. <laughs> I feel like normally I get way more, but they just they just didn't have what I wanted. <gasps> that lady has her baby wrapped in like a, in a sling. Oh, we've got one of those ones. I know. I'm so excited to grocery shop with a baby wrapped to my chest. I'm excited to use the sling. It's like commando style. Dad's with baby slings on my ovaries. <laughs> my ovaries! I can't handle it. Also, another piece of advice, go shopping with a snack or a drink because the worst thing is when you go shopping hungry, you end up making some not so good decisions. All right, good to go. Can confirm, as a rule of thumb, Predominantly, you want to stick to the perimeter of any grocery store because the perimeter is going to be like your meat and your fresh food. And all through the middle is the stuff that confuses you and people make you think it's healthy, but it's not really. So with most of the middle section, you don't really need it like the aisles. We're running slow on time and it's boiling outside. So we're going to get our fruit from here. But normally I do go to the farmer's market and get organic fruit. But I'm picking my battles today and we're doing grocery store. All right, get it. So we always grab loads of berries. In terms of fruit, they're one of the lowest in sugar and highest in antioxidants. Uh, just two strawberries and then, I no, like more blueberries. No, I like strawberries. Kurt has like two punnets as one snack. I'll have a full on big 250 gram punnet myself. Load up, get them, that's it. Normally we get like four avocados, but these are just too hard. I'll come back later. I like to stock up on fruit because I'm a snacker. I find the best thing to do is snack on fruit because it's really water dense and it's low in calories if you care about that, but more so really nutritionally dense, full of macronutrients, full of vitamins and minerals. And being pregnant, I don't know, I'm obsessed with peaches right now. Favorite fruit of all time? Bunanas. Bunani. <laughs> yeah, that one. Good, big dog. When he's 13, I'm gonna die. He's gonna oh, eat yeah, like he's gonna you eat more. and me. Yeah. He's gonna be like- He's gonna be a monster. He's gonna eat so much. Yeah. Two tomatoes, just in case I have like a paleo Sauce. sandwich or something. Oh yeah. I'm getting back into my salads. I used to have a nourish bowl every single day, but I found that lately I've been buying cucumbers and they always go bad. So I'm just gonna buy one so I don't waste it. Organic kale, wilter it or put yeah. it in the oven. Coconut oil, salt and pepper, so, so good. The darker the green, the better it is for the nutritional benefits. I think we missed zucchinis, they're back that way. Oh. They do. No, they don't. I don't believe it. Mm, yeah, there, there's some there. Oh, there's a couple of scraps. Three measly scrappers. I don't want the rejects. What oh, the heck, man? Zucchinis are like my favorite vegetable ever. That's it, I'm going home. Organic cost lettuce. That one is your crunch. That one's nice and crunchy. Sweet potato. And we do have half a butternut pumpkin at home, I remember. We smash it. Yeah, we smash it's that. a little bit too hard. And then I'm gonna get some kale leaf spinach as well, just for nice where you just wanna put a salad together super quickly. Some bok choy. Yes. You know bok choy is good for your kidneys love, and liver as well? I love bok choy. Any yeah. greens. Greens are great. Great cleansing, oh, detoxifying well, I, I've heard properties. That, that looks good. Wilted with some coconut aminos. Yum. Mm. Lemon. Look at you with your little just bags too. It's I'm eco-friendly now. Yeah. yeah, environmentally friendly. That's one of my news resolutions. Broccolini? Yeah, broccolini for sure. As much as I love salmon and barramundi and fish, I do prefer to get it from the fish shop. Maybe from the fish shop after. Boom. Grass-fed mince. Chicken. I like to have poached chicken and then I shred it. Mm -hmm. I'm not really a massive meat eater. Like, I don't really crave meat, especially now that I'm pregnant. But as my main sources of protein, I have chicken, tofu, pea protein, like my tropica pea protein. Fish. Um, tempeh fish. I love fish. I really, really love fish. And if I do get, like, meat, like red meat, I usually go to the butcher because they have, like, yeah. free range. Yeah, and, we like, go to certified. the butcher or we go to the farmer's market. Grass so fed. we just get things for, like, the freezer just to, like, stock up on. We don't really get too much meat from the grocery store. No. Although I said don't go up the aisle, there are specific things that I know that I want. So I'm going there with a plan and a purpose. I want coconut yogurt. They have it. <laughs> Always check the back, check the ingredients. With anything like this, it's easy because it's like one is blueberries, one is strawberries, one is chicken. Fruit it's like veg. it's one ingredient. 
but with anything that has an ingredient list, always read the ingredients and don't be tainted by the macros and the calories. This is the most natural one in this grocery store or even around us. Natural? Yeah. The other ones, they have like a sugar and other stabilizers in it. And yeah. It's not a good time. I'm not gonna say smoked salmon is the healthiest option. I've been craving ham like crazy in this pregnancy and I don't necessarily eat pork or like ham. You can't really eat ham when you're pregnant. I have been having smoked salmon. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that. It's not like the healthiest. It's not as natural as just like getting a salmon fillet. But I'm picking my battles here, you know what I mean? Don't judge me, I'm just being honest, all right? <laughs> don't need cheeses, because we don't eat dairy. Or she doesn't anyway. And you shouldn't, because you're lactose intolerant. <laughs> oh well, can't win them all. Buckwheat pasta. You're kidding yourself if you think you're never gonna crave pasta. If you're like, I'm just gonna live off greens and chicken, you'll probably do that for two days, and then you'll be like, I need spaghetti bolognese in my life. I feel ya. I love spaghetti bolognese. If Kerr thinks it tastes the same as normal pasta, and he's a pasta snob, <laughs> I'm doing good. Buckwheat spirals, it's 100% buckwheat flour. Yeah. Love that for us. Almond milk, this is the most natural one I found. Water, organic almonds, sunflower oil, and salt. So I wish you didn't have sunflower oil. Can you reach them? Do you need my help? No. Oh, you got this. We found a new one that's actually yeah. a cleaner one. Yeah, let's get that one. That one, the Australian owned one, is 3% almonds, and this one's 7. And has less other <laughs> bits and pieces in it, is that right? Well, the other one has sunflower oil, and this one has brown rice, organic brown rice. Which I think is better. Yeah, we'll see. This one is what you want for your homemade coffee. Should we get one? Should we get one? Just one for coffees. Yeah, all right. I would have to say my favorite source of protein right now, and even before I got pregnant, is eggs. I used to love runny poached eggs. Since becoming pregnant, it's now a hard poached egg. We go through a lot of eggs in the uh, week. I could literally have six in one sitting. Yeah, Kurt literally has she six She gets angry eggs. at me though. Free range organic, uh, the organic ones, these ones here. Always check if they're not cracked. We're good. We need to move on to a farm and like have our own chickens. I've said that before and you said, no, I don't want chickens, they're too messy. Yeah, I don't want to deal with them. I just want the eggs. <laughs> oh yeah, frozen blueberries. Organic blueberries. Where are thou? Fabulous for homemade acai bowls and smoothies. I don't like the frozen bananas. I feel like they have no taste. I would rather wait till my bananas go like that spotty brown and then freeze them. Hacks with Sezi, you're Good welcome. Good shit. It's a pickle to get it. Skin off. You're gonna take the skin off for you? Yes, please. Can we just get two? Yes, please. No, that's it, thank you. Salmon for dinner. Usually we just get fish for the day that we want it. So I'll go out, get fish for that night. And I don't really store it in the freezer because I feel like it tastes like yeah, you, it has that freezer taste to it. 